ABC News is turning the spotlight back on a little boy with an incredible story. About two years ago, six-year-old Spike Parent was enduring 50 to 75 seizures a day. To stop the seizures, doctors removed a chunk of his brain. It sounds bizarre, but it was the only solution they could come up with. His seizures were truly devastating his life. He was going backwards developmentally. He was not only not making the progress he should make, but he was even losing abilities. Doctors realized there was an abnormal formation in the right frontal lobe of Spike's brain. They removed it to reduce the seizures. Sounds risky, but a new study published this week shows what worked for Spike could work for others too. Doctors say removing part of the brain helps the brain rewire itself and become healthier. And the study says surgery done in young epilepsy patients can, in many cases, stop seizures forever. KMBZ reports of the three million Americans affected by epilepsy, about one in four do not respond to medication, so surgery could mean everything. The outlet quotes the study's lead author, who says having the surgery young is key. We have a chance with this surgery to really give people their life back. The mere fact of time waiting too long before you do surgery is the most harmful thing you can do to a patient's brain. She says surgery might seem scary, but the mortality rate is less than 0.02%. Patients who have surgery within five years of being diagnosed with epilepsy have an 80 to 90% chance of being seizure free. It was ABC News that checked in with Spike in light of the new study. He is now doing great and ABC News quotes his father. He's doing exceptionally well. Although specialists can see some differences in the timing of his development from his peers, in every other way, he is just a normal, happy, healthy kid. Spike's last seizure was on November 9, 2011, the day of his last surgery. And according to his blog spot, life's been good since. He's reading, writing, hanging from the monkey bars at school, all activities that once seemed far out of reach. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima.